All right, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a really awesome mini scheme out of the West Coast playbook. And then I'm also gonna be showing you guys a neat little glitch out of this specific formation to glitch your opponent's DNs, generate a lot better pass blocking and screw up their entire pass rush. So with that being said, I'm, I'm gonna be in the split formation out of the West Coast playbook. This is brand new to Madden this year. You've probably never seen anybody run this, and that's for a couple of reasons. Like I said, I'm in the West Coast playbook. When you think West Coast, you think bunch. That's really the only reason anybody uses that playbook. But actually, if you dive into this playbook a little bit deeper, you will see that it has a lot of awesome and unique formations, a lot of great plays that people don't utilize. And at this point in the year, man, in Madden, it's all about having fun. It's all about expanding your horizons, trying out new plays, trying out new schemes, just generally improving your skill at Madden and trying out new plays and new formations is going to help you accomplish those goals. So with that being said, let's just hop right into it, man. I'm going to be going out of the split pro formation. I'll show you guys a couple plays out of each of these three formations. Some of these are really cool. Like we have a single back split close formation, which is actually really awesome. But yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to show you guys how it looks like. So we're going to come out in the big nickel over G cover three, probably the most popular play in the entire game right now on defense. And then will come out in FL Drive, and then I'll go through all of these plays right here that I have in my audibles. I have Z in, I have Z spot, I have Hank, and I have PA slide. So this is a really simple scheme, but man, it's gonna be really effective. It's gonna catch your opponents off guard because they've never seen this formation before, and you can get really unique with it, man. Like I said, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a couple of plays here, but you can, you can develop your own plays, you can develop your own scheme. You can do a lot of different things with these two running backs split out wide. I will warn you though, this is not really a great running formation. The run plays are kind of kind of bad, but you can get you can get pretty glitchy with these two running backs in the backfield, man. You can put them on wheel routes, streak routes, you can motion them out. You can do a lot of awesome things with this formation. So first and foremost, I'm gonna be showing you guys the glitch. I know that's probably why you guys are here. I'm gonna show you guys a glitch out of this formation to screw up their entire pass rush. So what I'm gonna wanna do, this play already has a built-in motion, so I'm gonna start by fading Moss. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Sharp on a streak, okay? And then I'm going to motion him to the other side. Now watch what the DN does. The DN goes ahead and matches him. I don't know why. Don't ask me. This is the only formation I found that this works in. But this is really effective for stopping defenses like Shed Defense. And if you guys play this year, you know Shed Defense is by far the most popular. Over G, Nickel Normal, 335, all of those are Shed Defenses. This is going to screw those defenses up by causing that DN to completely go out there and match with the receiver. Now this only works with uh, Shannon Sharp going to the left. He has to be on the same side of the, 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 as the tight end and then you motion him to the other side. So this will not work, for example, if I put Barry on the other side. This only works going to the left. You just have to streak him, put him on the other side, and then you can put him on whatever route you want. So I'm just gonna go play by play now. Uh, let's come out and cover two because this play right here I'm running is a cover two beater. So I'll show you guys what this looks like. We'll put Moss on a fade. We'll have uh, Sharp on a drag. So we'll have a two-way concept right here, a little drop concept. We'll have Sharp coming underneath. Gonzalez going back the other way on a little bit of a deeper in route. We'll have the deep crosser. And then we'll have Moss kind of pulling that other deep half back. And let's see what happens. If you guys notice, that DN takes forever to completely come in on the other side. Like I said, using this glitch can cause your opponent's pass rush to be completely screwed up. It's gonna come in so much slower. You're gonna buy a lot of you're gonna buy yourself a lot of time in the pocket, be able to make good reads, and that's what uh, that's what we're looking for, man. That's what we're looking for when we're running this formation. We want to give opponents looks that they they haven't seen before. They're gonna to have to adapt to this, like they haven't adapted before. They're gonna to have to go to new formations, find new inventive ways to to make that DN not glitch out. So let's say your opponent wants to manually drag him back in. He can't stand up, he has to walk him back in. And if he were to do this, you could snap the ball right now. He's stuck on his DN, easy dot. You're gonna have no pressure in your face. Just throw a simple a simple ball for a lot of yards with no user on the field. Let's go to our next play. This is actually my favorite play in this entire formation, and it is the Z in play. Now, if you guys notice by looking at this left left hand side on the field, Jerry Rice is on a pat sale post. This, this is the exact same route Pat Sale is on. You're getting essentially Pat Sale out of uh, the split back formation. So let's let's go over a little route combo. I would probably run right here. Again, I'm gonna motion this guy out. I'm clicked on to the end. Um, so that's the reason why he didn't walk out this time. And I already, I already manually walked him back in. That's, that's the real reason why. But uh, 
let's go ahead and call timeout. I'll just show you guys the glitch again, just to just to make sure like it actually plays how I want it to play. So let's come back out in the over G cover three. We'll call Z in here, and then we'll streak. Oh, I motioned the wrong guy. Sorry, bear with me. Motion him back. All right, so there we go. We got the DN, the glitch. We're gonna block Barry, just a little bit better pass blocking. You know why not? And then we're gonna fade Moss. We're gonna put uh, Sharp on a drag, and then we'll put Gonzalez on a slant. So what happens here, if you guys notice, um, the guys on the left matched. If you had deep route specialist or elite route specialist on your tight end, what you could do is put them on a post or deep cross or essentially get that, that two crossing system that causes cover three to mess up. So your opponent is forced to protect sticks if they are running cover three against this play. That's another really great thing about this formation and this particular play. But uh, let, let's run that one more time. So that slant's going to be wide open. He did get matched right there. Like I said, that deep third on the left is guarding the pat sail route. So that entire left side of the field is going to be open if you have a deep crosser, if you have a wheel route going the other way. Uh, let's actually do that. Let's put a wheel on Sanders and see, just see what happens. Let's block Sharp so we get a little bit more blocking. And then we'll put uh, Sharp on a drag. All right, now let's see what happens. As you can see, X gets matched, and then we have the running back wheel route completely wide open for a touchdown. Like I said, they match. Your opponent's forced to protect sticks. And against a formation like this, your opponent might not protect sticks because they might not be expecting that kind of thing to happen. They might not be expecting this route. So that's a really great option you can have for a route combo. And then let's just try it one more time to show you guys what that, what that, um, that post looks like. Let's just block everybody this time. We'll have a slant going the other way, and then we'll have the post. I got super shattered. Let me, I'll glitch out the DN. Let me glitch out the DN again. That way I can get better uh, better pass blocking. All right. Let's do that. Put him on a drag. And then let's uh, run this. Let's see how much better pass blocking I get. See? I have all day now. Literally all day in the pocket. Easy to throw that. That post for an easy 20, 30, 40 yard gain, no problem. All right, so that's that play. That's probably the, the bread and butter of that formation. That That's the money play in that formation right there. But there are some really other great plays in there, man. And one of them is Hank. Hank. I don't know if you guys have utilized curl flat concepts this year. You probably haven't, but they are actually really, really underrated. It's one of my favorite route concepts in the game. And it is super effective. I'll show you guys one secret that I like to do when I use this this concept is I like to low ball the curls. Once they sit down there, you can low ball. It doesn't really matter how covered they are. It's going to be an effective pass, man. 95% completion rate probably, especially if you have good receivers. They're going to hold on to the ball. And this is a great red zone concept. It doesn't have to be out of this specific formation or this play in particular. Any sort of curl flat concept is great for the red zone, man. All, like I said, all you have to do is low ball that curl, and your guy's going to hang on it to most most of the time. So let's see what happens right here. Right here, we have both curls open. See, that guy was covered by two people. It doesn't matter. I low balled it. Easy catch. I'm holding A right there to possess and catch it on Moss. So the read here is basically just a high low. So let's. I'm going to put my guys in clouds. So if the defense is playing clouds, which is probably the most popular zone for people to be in, all you have to do is take your table routes. You get an easy six, seven yard gain, no problem every time. You're gonna make your opponent play hard flats. So let's see what happens when we play hard flats. It's gonna make those curls become even more open, which is really awesome. So like I said, this, these guys are what? Okay, they actually play that really well. The, the yellow zones actually play that really well. Like he was completely on him, like I said. But I lowballed it anyway. He still caught it. No problem. It doesn't matter what the traffic is. Unless the user is sitting right on it or unless he's completely manned up, you're going to complete it, like I said, 95% of the time. So if you guys aren't utilizing curls, man, I would definitely recommend that. And then the last concept we're going to use, like I said earlier in the video too, putting your running backs in this formation on wheels is going to, to stretch your opponent out, man. It's, it's going to put them in awkward situations. They're going to have to put a lot of zones on the field. And it's gonna it's gonna put them in a really uncomfortable position. So right here, we're just gonna do a simple high low read. Let's do clouds again. If they're in clouds, all you have to do is take the wheel route. You get an easy five, six, seven yard gain, no problem every time. Just be careful about running into Jamal Adams. You might want to go down there or hold RB. But uh, yeah, just force your opponent to make to play hard flats. So once they play hard flats, 
It's simple. Out of this PA slide play, we have a wide open corner route. Easy 20-yard gain. No problem every time. So this whole this whole formation, man, it's really simple. There's nothing too crazy with it. Just running these simple plays. Just make the high-low reads. Make the right reads. And, and make your opponent make adjustments. Don't let them just sit in stock cover three all game. Don't let them sit in clouds all game. Make your opponents work on defense. So now let's go into a, another formation. Uh, the split slot, split slot formation. This is another really cool uh, formation right here. This is an awesome concept right here. We are in, let me see what play we're in exactly with the name of it. We're in smash swing out of the split slot formation. Right here, you have two high-low reads on both sides. You have the hitch on the left. So if they're in clouds, you can take the hitch, hold X again, low ball it, get some extra rack yards. And then if they're playing hard flats, you have the two deeper corner routes. I got super shattered right here. But uh, let me just throw that away. I just got shattered, so I had to leave the pocket. Let's go back to that play again. Let's uh, let's deal sharp, and then let's play hard flats. So let's see what happens when we play hard flats. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna motion out Sanders right here, just to make him get on a little bit better, make him get out down the field a little bit further, causing that that post route to get open or that corner route to get open. So let's see what happens when they are in hard flats. Boom, easy corner route. That's a huge gain right there. And then we had the same exact thing wide open on the other side. We like I said, we have two high low concepts on both sides. And then if they're playing hard or if they're playing clouds to stop that, what we can do is just low ball the hitch or take this wheel route from sharp. So let's come out in hard flats. And then we'll have sharp on the wheel and then we'll motion out Barry again to have that streak. So I can take the wheel on the right. Actually, no, I played hard flats again. I meant to play clouds. That's my mistake. But right there, like I said, hard flats, we're taking the corner route. I meant to play clouds right there. That was my mistake. Let's do it one more time. And we'll play clouds this time. So if they're in clouds, the read is the wheel or it's Jerry Rice on the hitch. I prefer the hitch just because you get a nice little rack animation right there. Easy 10 yards, no problem. So that's a really awesome play. Two flood concepts on both sides. It's really going to make your opponent have to think. It's going to make them have to put a lot of guys in zones and leave the middle of the field open. And when the middle of the field is open, we can uh, we can get pretty glitchy. Again, the Texas play out of the split slot. Again, it's another pat sale. So what we could do is we could put Gonzalez on a fade, Moss on a drag, and then we have this um, we have the Shane Sharp angle route, which is actually really cool. It's built in, so you don't need the route comp. But I'm going to roll out. Easy post yard. So there's essentially two pad sales out of these formations, man, and that is awesome. It's probably the best play in the game. That post is really hard to stop. Your opponent's going to have to use it, causing a lot of other things to get open. And like I said previously, when you're running that one play, the smash play, with the two flood concepts on both sides, it's going to cause your opponent to have to mable one side, probably both sides, leaving the middle of the field wide open. There's going to be no zones there, and that is a really great play you can run to take advantage of the middle of the field. And then there's one last formation here. It's just the split close formation. It's essentially split close, but in the single back formation. There's some pretty cool plays in here, man. I haven't really uh, messed too much with this, but uh, you can you can get pretty close with this. We were just a lab it, so you have this like kind of like Z route over the middle of the field. I got shedded pretty bad, but right there, nice little post route. That's pretty unique, man. Your opponent's not going to expect that. It does take a little bit to develop, but it does get open pretty well over the middle of the field. So I haven't, I haven't labbed this too much, man, but in the short time that I have labbed it, I have developed some really awesome and unique plays to, to put a lot of pressure on your opponent's defense. And I'm sure if you guys were to run something like this, you could develop a lot of your own plays, come up with your own unique concepts, and have a lot of fun with this. I would definitely recommend trying this formation out. Definitely try, give this playbook a try. And if you guys want to see more mini schemes out of the West Coast playbook or any other playbooks, please just let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching.